He's known me longer than I have a conscious memory. Like, he's known me since I was an infant in the Langley coffee shop. When he came up to visit us, he would be my playmate. And so as soon as he'd come in, he, of course he would come in, he'd, he'd pump, pump my hand and he'd be he'd smiling and happy and he'd have this chuckle, right? This throaty kind of a, a chuckle and sh just, you know, up and down, up and down and his face would just kind of go red and he'd be chuckling and shaking. And he tried really hard to teach me headstands and handstands, but I think my center of gravity is just wrong, <laughs> just wrong for that. But he, he, he was excellent at doing handstands instantly, headstands, walking, cartwheels. And he might have also tried to teach me how to read from the newspaper, like phonetically. He valued education. He valued learning. I wonder if Carl's teaching me the value, this value of education influenced um, my values uh, and also valuing education is, is possible. When I went to his shop, I'd see some of his artwork, but containers of rocks that he, you know, he'd go out prospecting and he'd collect these rocks and he'd polish them and I'd get to choose an agate, you know, for myself. That was a, a very nice gift. Um, I remember the various smells in there. It kind of smelled like art studio mixed with, um, you know, he was living there as well. So mixed with kind of domestic smells. And he also had this interesting shrunken head. It was, I guess, about the size of a small apple, all shriveled up, with human hair. And he said it was authentic. I believed him. <laughs> it was so different. I'd, I'd never seen anything like it. He himself, speaking to a child, I guess, he, he spoke not down to me, but spoke appropriately to a child, to making a child feel important and valued. It's important to any child. Yeah, so he'd come and he'd, he'd try, play with play with us, my brother and myself, he played with both of us. Um, and that was important that we had somebody other than family and who, who recognized us. So I didn't really understand about racism. Like Carl, he, he didn't exhibit that. Although my parents did experience that from um, other people in Langley. Mm -hmm. So I, I never had that. He sheltered me from it. I don't even think he gave it a thought. Thinking back, maybe that uh, I was a little girl. What my mom understood was that um, Carl's wife and daughter were both killed at the same time, that a car had come over the curb, they were on the sidewalk, and ran into them. And maybe because I was a little girl, and he lost his little girl, that might have had some impact. I did feel valued. And um, he made me feel like I was listening to. We don't always get that from our parents. Or even if we do, we don't look at it the same way. So uh, he was my first friend. It was wonderful, yeah, to have such a first, nice first friend. He was always, always happy to see me. He's always a happy person. Given that all that uh, Carl's lived through to actually spend time to, uh, to, to go prospecting and to actually find a spot where he'll spend a few moments uh, to create such a beautiful painting, it's, uh, it's, it's remarkable. Well, I look at the uh, negative spaces as well as the positive spaces. He catches it at a, at a particular time uh, of light. It looks like it's either a sunrise or a sunset. You know, he finds himself in all these unbelievable situations and triumphs over them, uh, you know, no matter what he undertakes. And it sounds, it sounds like Carl Hesse. Hearing the, the adversity and the hardships and the places he's had to travel and to, to finally choose Langley as a place that he wants to spend um, perhaps the happiest years of his life. And, you know, I appreciate now as I get older to seek a place of happiness is sometimes a very important thing for a lot of people and they're willing to sell everything they have to make that happen. And I think Carl did that. He had nothing, had a great time moving through time and space, made lots of friends. Like Pat was saying, it didn't seem to matter that, you know, here he is, just this, uh, you know, artist hanging out with a Chinese family. Well, that's kind of cool. That's cool in any culture. <laughs>